Hello and welcome to the crossover tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about archiving bottles, how to do it and why to do it, and to show you is going to be yours truly. Hi, I'm Anthony. I work in QA. There is a feature in crossover that allows you to export those bottles and put them somewhere else as archived so that they're completely safe from any sort of changes that you're doing. Today, we're going to be using an example bottle of steam. We're going to go over to the left hand side here and double click or two finger click on steam. Then we're going to go down to export steam to archive. Once we end up clicking this, this is going to bring up a little window where you can put a quick name, some tags and save it, or you can get a little bit more thorough in where you end up saving it. You can go to this little arrow in the corner. I would recommend doing this because it pulls up a lot more detail. And if you go over to new folder here, we can actually make ourselves a folder in which we can put our archived bottles for crossover that we can just save our bottles to for future use. And then we know exactly where they're going to be. So we're going to click on here and then we're going to go to save as and we're going to name this favorite Steam Games, just as an example and hit save. Now, if you turn your attention to the top right hand corner, it's going to say archiving in the status area. Depending on the bottle and everything that's in it that you're currently trying to archive, this can take a while. That's OK. As long as you leave it be, go get a cup of coffee, come back. And as long as it's finished, you're going to have one nice archived file that's going to be sitting in the folder waiting for you to unpack later. Thanks for watching and hope this helped. Feel free to check out more videos on our channel for tips and guides on how to use crossover or check out our website for support, documentation and more.